guys what's going on it's boys and today I'm going to be showing you how to make regions and set flags with world edit and world guard um, now the things that you're going to need are world edit and world guard plugins or mods for your server server server, server, server or uh, or it's just single player world you're going to need single player commands for if you're going to be using survival and I'll show you some links in the description uh, for that stuff. So let's get on to it. First you're going to need your slash slash wand. Very simple for the wooden axe that will be used as the wand for world edit. Now you do not need to be in creative to do this. You just need uh, the rights if you're on a server or the single player commands like I said to be able to use world edit. So we're going to protect this uh, one of my friend's little houses here and to do that we're going to select the position so we're going to want to make sure we get his chest in here should probably put that in his house soon and then we're going to go over here so we have the region basically set uh, with world edit right now now this confuses me a lot or it used to confuse me and it made me very frustrated because I couldn't get the command right but I always thought that this command was for world edit but it's actually for world guard and world guard uses one slash and world edit uses two slashes so this is a world guard command so it's going to use one slash oh <coughs> excuse me my voice is really cracking a lot today sorry about that but it is going to be slash expand vert no spaces so basically it's going to expand your uh, world vertically there actually is a space whoa slash actually it is I got that backwards it's slash slash expand vert and it is a world edit command and the region commands are world guard sorry about that um, if I get anything else wrong in this video please correct me I'm pretty loopy today I'm very very tired I fell asleep in all, almost all my classes many different times so and I got in trouble several different times today so I'm sorry uh, if I am talking weird or making a lot of mistakes but just for you guys to know we just did slash slash expand vert and what that does is that expands the region all the way to the skill limit and all the way to bedrock so that no one can come underneath or come on top and get inside so basically, now that we have that, we have to define the region, and this is a world guard, so it's going to have one single slash, and define, and you're going to call it whatever you want, so let's call house, let's call it house. So let's save this house, and you could do slash region list, and there's all your little regions there, and as you can see, number four is house. So next what we're going to do is the flags and you're going to either have to find a list of flags on the internet or what I like to do is just keep the slash up when I'm trying to type in uh, commands like that and then I just do region region flag and then house and then just put random stuff and then it will show you since it's an error it will show you all the flags here so just keep a slash up and then look for what you're doing so now we're in a PvP zone and we want to fix that so this we're not in a region right now so what we don't what we have to do is or what we don't have to do is set the priority and I'll show you that in a few minutes um, so basically what that means is we don't have to make it even with other regions or don't have to make it override other regions so you don't have to do any of that so we're just going to delete that randomness there and then type in something that actually matters so we don't want pvp in there we don't want anyone fighting so we're going to deny that and that's basically the first flag that we're going to do and it's very very easy to do just look at the list again and then we're just going to keep typing in what we don't want so we don't want people constructing don't want people building I don't really know what the difference between constructing and built building is but we're gonna get excuse me both of those out of there we don't want 
we don't want mob damage because we don't want to get killed in our sleep by some angry zombies oops oops that might not be good all right that will just clear it so that whatever you have will, it will change it to default if you don't type in deny or allow and as you can see there's a lot of different things I'm not gonna go through everything but the main ones are mob spawning PvP build construct chest access access um, you know so on and so forth so those are just the main ones we don't really need to do much maybe just d deny mob spawning that'll be the last one that's useful and then that's basically it um it's really 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 simple to do it only gets complex on the ones that are the odd shaped ones which are new gold edit cui for unless you have a really good um memory that you could like uh remember the shapes in your mind which i did not have so photographic memory that's what I was looking for so I don't have that so I need to roll that at CUI but sadly it's not working for me as a mod because I don't think it's working for 1.6.2 but it's getting day night time which is perfect because we're gonna see if some mobs will spawn in here so let's spawn a creeper so get our egg and what I'm hitting the ground nothing's happening come on I want to blow up his crappy little house no just kidding but um yeah, it doesn't work, even if you try using an egg. Um, it's possible that the mobs will walk in like this sheep is, but the mobs aren't going to actually spawn in here. So if you want to give yourself a little extra space to prevent them from getting a high chance of walking in, it won't work. So as you can see, it'll spawn here, it'll spawn here, 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 and not here. So yeah, so we'll just kill them and then just set the time to day again. So yeah, um, PvP doesn't work. Sadly, I don't have anyone on the server right now to uh, show show you guys how PvP works. But just trust me on this. One thing works, so it's very likely that the next thing will. If that doesn't happen, then I don't really know what to do. But uh, hopefully it will work. And so let's go on to the next part. All right, guys. So now, as you can see, I have made three regions, and they're all color coded. I guess you can say. Now this region is the diamond block is a border. It's a new region I made, and it's surrounding the house, the region we first made that you guys saw, which is a gold block. And then I made a little timeout corner for bad boys who come in here, bad little pur pe purples, purples. Yeah, that's what they're called. So um yeah, so that's a little timeout corner that we're gonna have for the bad pupils and. Let's just set the priority now. Now priority, what we're going to do with that is, actually no, what, what it's going to do is it's going to affect what you can do within the regions. So now let's go to my city here and I'll show you an example. Come on, let's fly. Alright, so if I can go up fast enough to show you guys, from this lava here, all the way if the world will load all the way to the end of the city is the city um it's actually the border but so basically i have a bunch of different regions within the city so i have this region here for pvp i have uh a region here for the village i have a region for the shop i have a region for the bank for the war part for the portal for all different things so you get what I'm saying I, I need I have regions within regions so let's go back and so basically to be able to do that to be able to change the, the flags within the regions you're gonna have to set a priority and that's what that does so the command is slash region if I can type set priority no, no spaces and then we're gonna set the border to two so what that's going to do is remember before how I could spawn mobs in here but not spawn mobs in here. Well guess what? Now I can spawn mobs in here. And now I can spawn mobs in here. Because the priority is overriding the priority of this, the little borders in here. So let's kill these buffies so they don't blow anything up for some random reason. Because I know Minecraft will do that. But alright so 
so this region's priority is 2, this is 0, and this is 0, because we still haven't changed them yet. So if we put the border's priority back to 0, and just so you guys know, if you have an outer border set to 0, and let's say something here inside here, once you come in here, it doesn't really matter what this is, as long as it's lower than what's this. Because... There's nothing that's going to be bigger than the outside border, so it doesn't matter how low this is. It just has to be lower than what's in here, otherwise what's in here won't work. So now, you can still spawn here, but you can't spawn here, because I set that back. So, for the timeout corner, let's say we want to punish somebody by, I don't know, trapping them in there with mobs. So, if you have a priority, say, one in here, and you want to change something in here in the future, then then you want to have that higher priority than this because if it's already set like this before you do the priorities it won't matter much but if you want to change it then it will so we want to change the priority of this so we want to have a hi it higher than the house so we're going to change the timeout corner to two and then we're going to change the flag flag of the timeout corner uh, mob spawning allow so now that that's that you can spawn in here can't spawn in here and can spawn in here so as you guys see that is how you set up uh, priorities and regions and flags hope you guys enjoy I know it was uh, kind of longer than it needed to be this video but I'm very tired after a long day of school. I just fell asleep in a bunch of classes. And I'm not having the best day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really wanted to make this video for you guys. Even though I wasn't feeling too well. I feel I had to make a video. And if you also. Um, this is just a test. This is actually my friend's real house in the server. And I don't want to mess anything up for him. So if you want to um, remove a region to two regions. Space remove. Space whatever it is. So house border and then timeout corner so yeah that's basically it very simple hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching tap that like button and subscribe to become a blazer today thanks for watching bye